Today we remember Jesus and the story of his birth. Jesus is our King. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Jesus is our way. With Jesus, even dark places are light. Jesus is the truth. In Jesus, we shall live forever. Jesus is our life. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe. Grant us the gift of wonder and delight in the marvels of your creation. As this Christmas tree is now decked with lights, so by your grace may the radiant faith of your people crown the glory of your creation. We make our prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. As Dean and on behalf of Chapter, I welcome you most warmly to Liverpool Cathedral. The cathedral communities talk about the cathedral being a place of encounter. And we hope this afternoon you will encounter this magnificent place. The people who form the community and ultimately we hope you encounter something of the love of God as shown through the birth of his son Jesus. We are in very strange times, and as we sit here this afternoon and listen to the choir sing, and as the readings info unfold, I hope that the symbols of crib and tree may help you to reflect on the mystery we call to mind at this time of year. That God, in his great love for us, 
has sent his Son to be our Saviour and to bring the light of his mercy and his truth, his peace and his justice in our dark and troubled world. There have been many dark times over the past 10 months with the deaths of so many people. And I hope that as we recall the hurts and losses, we also take time out to give thanks to God for all that is good in our lives, recognising the gifts he has lavished so freely upon us. So let us in a moment of quiet bring God our hopes and fears for ourselves and our loved ones, confident that the one who has revealed himself to us in Jesus hears us. And as we continue with our services, there are two notices. At the end of the service, there will be a collection of money as you leave the cathedral. If you have not already given, please be as generous as you can. Like all organisations, our income has all but dried up during lockdown. Please be as generous as you can, and the money will go to keep this beautiful cathedral open and free. And secondly, we have no planned fire tests, but if the alarms should go off, then please be directed out of the building through the two side aisles at the back of the cathedral. Now, a moment of quiet as we return to the service and remember that all are welcome in this cathedral, which we believe is a place of encounter built by the people for the people to the glory of God. Lord, we thank you for this holy season of Christmas and for the rich meaning which gives to our lives, for the wonder of the world. We give you thanks and praise for giving yourself for the world in the child Jesus. We give you thanks and praise for giving yourself to the world in the man Jesus. We give you thanks and praise for giving yourself for the world on the cross of Jesus. We give you thanks and praise for giving hope and new life for all the world in the resurrection of Jesus. We give you thanks and praise. Come, Lord Jesus, do not delay. Give new courage to your people who trust in your love. By your coming among us, raise us to the joy of your kingdom where you live and reign with the Father and the Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them a light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority will grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things, keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you.
Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment that the light has come into the world and people love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil for all who do evil hate the light and do not come to the light so that their deeds may not be exposed but those who do what is true come to the light so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak now in the name of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Christmas trees. If you're fortunate to have one, I wonder what sort of Christmas tree you have at home. Perhaps it's a real one, or a sparkly artificial one. One new each year, or one brought out year upon year. 
if because of the challenges of this year or even every year, you don't have one. You're absolutely welcome to come here every day over Christmas time and enjoy the ones that we have for you here in the cathedral. They are for you. And I wonder what sort of decorations you have or would like to have. Perhaps like me, lots of tinsel and glitter, sparkly baubles, small parcels and packages, or Disney and other cartoon characters. Some which are always there, or some which are new. And here's the big question. Is it a fairy or a star which goes on the top? Now, I'm a teacher and a lecturer, so at this point, we want to try and find out. So, hands up who's got a star on their tree. Ooh, good number of people. And hands up if you've got a fairy on the tree. Hands up if you don't know yet. And those that haven't put their hands up, you can tell me afterwards in a socially distanced way what you've got on your tree at home. But if you're anything like me, it's not until the lights are added and switched on that the tree comes to life. The tree itself is a beautiful creation, but it's not until the light is added that the full beauty is revealed. And the probationers in our cathedral choir are going to help illustrate that right now. If I could ask them to stand up, please, so everyone can see you. They're hiding behind our Christmas tree here. Now, they have with them, very appropriately for this service, lovely miniature Christmas trees. Can we see them all? Oh, there you are. They've even got lights on. <laughs> but it's not until the lights are on, ta-da, as we see here, that we see the real beauty of these Christmas trees, the wonderful creations that they really are shine out when the light is upon them, showing how beautiful they can be. And I mean the probationers as well as the trees. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. And so too with the light of Christ, alive and fresh within our hearts and minds, bringing to life all that we might say and do within our daily lives. And this service celebrates too why and how that light was first sent into our lives over 2,000 years ago as an earthly presence, but yet remains alive and a light in our hearts now through our faith and the power of the Spirit. For our readings and music today tell of how God loved us so much that he sent his son to us to bring us healing, which is the meaning of the word salvation. Healing because humanity, we, were not making the best choices within the world. Healing because it was broken and had lost its way in caring for itself and for each other in a world of such beauty and such wonder. However, we can see how easy it is to lose one's way, especially through the challenges of this year, and for many people, the challenges of every year. We are likely experiencing, through the effects of the pandemic, what many people in this country and around the world go through every day. Isolation, desolation, loneliness, anxiety, illness, disease, to name but a few. But there have been lights shining all along the way, the lights of helping each other and reaching out, of protecting others and the rest of society as well as ourselves, of coming together to get through this all, of those continuing to work to keep our society learning and working and as healthy as much as possible. Jesus, as a light to the world, can help with that still further 
if we allow him into our lives. His light can enable us to help even more those around us, be even more the wonderful creations we are, especially when we come together for each other. For there is a beautiful creation, like the wonderful Christmas tree, inside every one of us, for we are made in the image of God. So may Christ be our light in our hearts and minds, to light up creation and show that light to those around us by all that we do in serving the people around us at this time, when, as we know, it is so badly needed. May we switch on that light through our eyes, our smiles, hands and voices, through our whole beings, so that Christ can be a light in the darkness of our lives and especially in the lives of others this Christmas time. From all of us at Liverpool Cathedral, may this Advent continue to be special in preparation for as happy and holy a Christmas as we can all have safely at this time. Amen.
after the prayers which follow and the Lord's Prayer, as the choir sings, O come all ye faithful, the children of the probationers and the um, clergy will move to the back. And those who've got young children with them, one adult only per child, please, if you can come and join us at the back and the rest of the congregation, please remain in your places, but you may want to turn and face the bridge so you can see what's happening in the final moments of the service. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, help us to be still in your presence that we may know ourselves to be your people and you to be our God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for those among whom Christ was born, the poor and helpless, the aged and young children, the cold, the hungry, and the homeless, the victims of poverty, injustice, and oppression, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and the unloved, those in despair or in the shadow of death. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. As we hear again the message of peace on earth and goodwill among all God's people, <clears throat> we pray for the leaders of the nations, that all may be inspired to work together for the establishment of justice, freedom, and peace all over God's world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that we may bear true witness to this hope in a divided world. So we remember the peace and unity of Christ's body, the Church, universal, that we may be one, that the whole earth may live to praise God's name. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Finally, as we rejoice with the saints in heaven and on earth, we remember all who have gone before us with the sign of faith, whose hope was in the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom we offer up our prayers for the coming of his kingdom, as we sum up our prayers in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
hear the words of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord himself will give you a sign. It is this. The maiden is with child and will soon give birth to a son whom she will call Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. In the faith of Christ and in your name, O God most holy, we hallow this crib of Christmas to set before the eyes of your children the great love and humility of Jesus Christ, your only Son, who for us and for our salvation came down at this time from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, his mother and was made man, to whom with you and the same Spirit be all honour and majesty, glory and worship, now and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Friends, when you leave this evening, do please walk past the crib. Uh, you've come here for the blessing of the crib. May your eyes feast on it. And as you feast on it, may you know the, near, the nearness of Christ in your lives and his blessing upon those you love. Please do bow your heads now to receive Christ's blessing. Christ, the Son of God, born of Mary, fill you with his grace to trust his promises and obey his will and the blessing of god almighty the father the son and the holy spirit be upon you upon those you love and for whom you pray this day and forever amen, amen.